Hello, welcome to another Toneless Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Cloudy Beach. It's a 6x8, and it's a painting I painted very recently. And this painting uh, represents a um, an attempt on my part really to do landscapes that are more focused on the uh, the beautiful landscapes around me here in New Zealand and this is something that really ties directly into the marketing I've been doing and after a long time of trying to make um, a bunch of things happen online it occurred to me that uh, the best foundation for sales would be to um, uh, do things that were good for my local market and other places of course now I was um, this is nothing new in fact one of the um, things I've known for a while is that uh, tourists buy artwork that looks like the uh, landscape that's out here people come here to New Zealand just for the beautiful um, landscapes here but for my part, um, as I've discussed in the past, I am not that interested in specific subjects or scenes. I'm really into emotive qualities of painting. And for that reason, I was painting uh, scenes of England or California, or one of my favorite things to paint is some of the inland rural scenes here, which are not the sort of scenery that we're known for in uh, the north we're known for our beaches beaches so that's one of the reasons I've been doing a bunch of beaches and you know it, it was a bit of an epiphany for me because what occurred to me was that um, I can I can paint a beach and have an emotive quality uh, as well as I could do a rural scene um, it's just funny how the way we define things in our mind uh, really uh, can open or shut a lot of doors and uh, I will say since I've um, started making some of these moves, I have had better sales out here. Um, I always had pretty decent sales out here, um, but uh, I'm working in a toneless vein doing scenes like this, which is a, a very interesting scene actually. Uh, uh, there's not much to it, I mean it's just mostly this uh, body of water with some clouds and a few little, actually one is a little island and the other is a little peninsula coming off from what would be our left hand side and um, I actually like this painting quite a lot um, to me it feels like there's not a lot of subject there and one of the other things that kind of was keeping me from doing this sort of scene people would often come into my studio and say well why don't you do more beach scenes da 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 I mean in fact, Fongare, the town I live in, is called the uh, the town of a thousand beaches. I don't know why. I don't. I think, as far as I know, there's only four or five actually in town. But whatever, that's what they call it. And uh, we know for our beaches. But uh, what I would always say is, well, that 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 horizon line is a it's a tyranny. It's a tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just another idea in my head. No, it's not. Uh, one of my big solutions, you can see what I've done here, is one of the things I like to do is where the horizon meets the sky. I like to have the value uh, almost the same. Uh, maybe just subtly different. And you'll see in this painting I'm going to add a bit of lightness to the sky coming up. But you can see my intention here and the, way, the reason I painted it that way. They really the way that we're perceptually seeing the difference between the horizon and the sky is through um, a color shift. One is blue and the other is gray. And uh, this is something I kind of got from George Ines. He would often, actually, he would often have multiple horizons in his paintings. It was hard to discern where the actual horizon was because he'd have the actual horizon and then he'd have faux horizons. And then he loved to modulate uh, colors uh, in his paintings so the horizon was a neutral and um, he had a whole theory about that and he wrote about it extensively now you can see yeah I'm, I've, I've gone in now and I've given it a bit more pop but 
I'm still starting with a neutral, so I could have gone with an even greater amount of contrast where that horizon is. Um, but you'll see also I'll be doing a little more work in the uh, where the ocean or the sea is there uh, and kind of bringing it in line. But So I'm pretty happy with this. Actually, I'm not having a problem with that um, strong horizontal like I used to. And it was something that really used to bother me, but... You know, I've come around to a different way of thinking about it, which is good. You've got to, uh, you've got to change and progress, etc. And uh, now, um, I promised I would tell you what that book I've been looking at is, but lo and behold, my tablet's in the other room, and I'm all set up to record. So, I'll get into it. Don't worry. Stay tuned. Uh, today is Sunday. February, what is it? 18th, 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 18th. And uh, kind of a mm, muggy, hot, very easy to get sweaty day. The humidity is off the hook. Uh, we're not actually having rain. We've had several big, I guess they call them cyclones. I don't know. We've had some big storms come through here, which is odd. We usually don't get that. It's not that common. I mean, I've seen it more than I did in California, but anyway um, a lot of rain uh, in, in the summer and it never rains in the summer in California uh, there's even a song that goes that way maybe you're familiar with it anyway uh, it's my day off and on the studio I spent the actually the earlier part of today uh, going uh, to uh, Helena Bay gallery and uh, and restocking them they've uh, recently sold a bunch of stuff and so um, we re-upped them with some new content and uh, some really nice paintings there. Um, in fact, I took a photo. I'll probably share that on Facebook. Not that I do much of Facebook. I'm not really saying skip on over to my Facebook. You can, though. It's a uh, toneless painter at Facebook. You know, you can find me there. But um, uh, basically, what I do on Facebook is like um, this video is going to be on my website on a blog you're actually much better going off to my website where there's um, some high-res uh, um, images of this painting uh, and everything else I put up here on YouTube is going to be a better resolution image uh, in the old days I used to write essays but that became just too much work um, so this is my essay me rambling this is as close as we're gonna get um, but you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There's probably at least 50 or 60 posts in the new blog. And then if you look at the tab that says blog underneath, there's a, an area for the old blog, which has got 300 or so. So I think we're getting close to 380 videos or something like that right now. Um, won't take long to get to 400. And uh, anyway, hey, welcome aboard, new subscribers. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. I will keep the content coming. Thank all of you uh, that are old subscribers too. I really appreciate you sticking around. It's awesome. I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.